Pell and welcome to Fanny Fine TV. If you are new here, please consider to subscribe, like, and share this video. Well, maybe I'll be doing this video and I just tears just come down my eyes. Please forgive me if I just cry in, in doing this video. Please, for, please, for I just want to share with you some things that the father said during the burial service because it's really, really sad and it tells us more about Barbara and the kind of family that um, she's coming from and that was why that was why Sylvester was able to take advantage over her because he knew the kind of family that Barbara was coming from um, from the father's um, tribute he said that his heart is heavy. Indeed, no parent to be happy to lose their daughter like that. And um, he quoted the scripture, John chapter 1, verse 5. Let the circumstances of Barbara's passing, I will describe as a struggle between light and darkness. That struggle, which was referred to in John chapter 1, verses 5, that darkness could not comprehend light. discrimination 
deviation from appropriate norms and principles prescribed by good books of God. That my innocent daughter Barbara, so harmless, so meek and wild, has become a victim and her brilliant life, brilliant future is cut short for no tangible reason. Some people who knew Barbara way back home as a child, some officers, some friends, some relations ask, who wants to hurt that your daughter? Said <laughs> Barbara, for what reason? simply referring to the naivety of Barbara. It's not only the Tommy family who's a victim. Our friends, our loved ones have become victims of these kinds of mindset and cruelty. I did not expect this fate for Barbara, the way it happened. Barbara was a light that shined, and the evil one knew that Barbara was a light. You know, oh my goodness. Emphasize that the Tommy family is a very peaceful family. We, we love people, we take care of people. You definitely don't need a gun. You don't need a can. You don't even need a shrub, not even a leaf to communicate with us. Tell us what you think. Let's discuss it. That's how we, we, we believe in dialogue. So there was really no need for anybody to stalk Barbara, to hide around her office, and to gun her down. In fact, uh, uh, I don't wish this for anybody. I definitely don't wish for anybody. And I insist that this is sheer quality to Barbara and um, is a very severe injury to the family, to our friends, to our loved ones. It's a serious, grievous injury to the Tommy family home and abroad. I don't know how to explain it. It is a... Barbara is an irreplaceable loss to the Tommy family, to our friends, our loved ones, those who have time to really get to know her, it's a new power of her, to really get to know her, it's a new power of her, done to us as a family, it's a wound that I don't know, I need to worry here. It's a wound I do not know when it will heal for us. It's only God who knows. What if I think? As a family, we shall continue to cherish Barbara. 
We shall continue to love Barbara. I still trust God. I have faith in God. My, my humble prayer is that God will comfort Barbara, will grant her peace, wherever she is. Until we meet again. I still trust in God. I have faith in Him. Oh my goodness. That was His exact word. That in the midst of this, because if it's some people, they would have lost hope in God. Because thinking of the kind of person that took their daughter's life, he called himself a man of God. I pray that he repents in the prison. I really wish he would come back to repentance. God will forgive him because he might God if he asked for forgiveness. But his hands will ever be filled with blood, the blood of the innocent, as the blood of Abel cry for revenge. The blood of Abel cry. So the blood of Barbara will always cry in the ear of Pastor Sylvester of Foley. The father said he still trusts in God. The family trusts in God. These are pure believers. It's not about going, making that, that, that. The true Christian are manifesting the fruit of the Spirit. So he said, the family shall continue to love Barbara. Can you imagine he was given a standing ovation? At the funeral, everybody was just clapping and stood as he finished his tribute. It's really sad. Barbara, may your soul rest in peace. It's really, really sad. May the death of Barbara bring liberation to pastor's wife. And also open the eyes of family members who are giving the hands of their daughters to pastors. Don't take it for granted maybe that your daughter has married to a pastor and she's happy. Oh. No. Encourage your daughter to talk. Because something is happening behind the scene. That all you can see, you can see the smiling face of this daughter. But you don't know that she's wounded in the inside. And she's cover up in because of the church. Most pastor's wife are just cover up in. They are not happy. Family members, if you have given your, your, your daughter, father, mother, brother, sister, uncle, auntie, let this be a wake-up call. If your daughter is married to a pastor, go and check her. Maybe she is dying slowly. Encourage her to talk. Yes, so many pastors' wives who are in pain. They can be in the house with this men who call themselves pastors. They are not speaking to their wives. But they go to church and they still support their husband and put on the marks of smiling face for the members to see. But immediately they come home they are in pain. Some of these pastors are not taking good care of their wives. Some can be sleeping in another room, doing some other things. I remember one day one pastor's wife was telling me the kind of thing that the husband was doing, you cannot imagine. Sunday, he will go and preach. 
Another female pastor was also telling me he will not believe. In front of us, this man slapped his wife. The pastor slapped his wife, and immediately after that, he just ran to the altar to preach because it was time for him to preach. In laws of pastors, ask your daughters oh, what they are going through. They are dying. Pastor's wife are dying behind the scene. Barbara is gone today. But now it seems as it is day, it, it is not even safe to marry to a pastor anymore. It is not really safe. The kind of fearful thing that is happening. In those days, it was good and happy when you see those pastors' wife. But today is something else. Check on your daughters. They are dying, oh, they are dying. Look at Barbara, beautiful daughter, young, intelligent, brilliant lady. She just lost her life like that to somebody that she trusted. It's really sad. Most of these pastors are narcissistic pastors. They have two phases. When they come to the public, they are nice. When they come in their home, they are devil. They sleep around with other women in the church. I was watching another video. How 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 how, how the ladies were complaining, coming out testifying how these pastors will sleep with them, right in the house. In their matrimonial home. What a sad and a difficult thing that the women have to put up with. And the most painful thing, most church members don't know. That pastor's wife are in pain. Barbara, may your soul rest in peace. I feel pain for you, my sister. But let this be a wake-up call. Wolf in sheep clothing. Fake. All they want is fame and money. Most of these pastors, these young pastors, you see them, they go and look for these narcissistic pastors. You see them. They are the ones that are having the most beautiful, intelligent women as wives. They look into their eyes. They look into their character. They look into their family. See that, oh, this one is coming from a good home. This one is coming from a rich home. This one is coming from a well-behaved home. They marry them and to go and maltreat them. May God bring judgment. Because the Bible said they, the judgment will start in the house of God. Indeed, it will start in the house of God. Barbara is gone today. But most pastor's wife are in pain. As they watch and listen to the story of Barbara, they relate with it. Because they know the kind of pain that they are going through. Please, pastor's wife. Talk to your family members what you are going through. People, let them be exposed. Wicked people. Sheep in wolf clothing. They are hiding behind the cross. They are hiding behind the sheep. They don't have love for the things of God. They don't have love for the people of God. When you see them in church, you think you have seen one angel who has come. Don't mind all this rabba shanta rabba. Don't mind it. It's all fake. Because if you are not living, Bible says live in peace with your wife. Respect her. Help her. Be considerate with her. If you are not doing that, then what God are you serving? Then when you go to church, you do as if you are caring about other church members. Your wives are dying in pain. Some are in the church, but they are out of the church. They are in the church, but they are out of the church. Because all that they think is not about the kingdom of God anymore. No repentance, no message of repentance, no message of, 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 of sin, no message of salvation. All bless me, bless me, bless me. Seed, 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 so seed, let you be blessed. Nothing. You better check your pastor. 
you better talk to your pastor's wife and ask them what they are going through and, and, and stop jumping around my papa my papa my papa when your papa is a devil hide in wolf clothing may god have mercy upon the church please don't don't forget to subscribe like and share my video till we meet in the next video i want to say tata rest in peace barbara